turn it up, and for good reason. I mean, and if if that match against Zenyu is any indication of what he does against the Plumbers, this could be a very long set for Elegant. Yeah, and it, it's crazy because Elegant doesn't isn't blessed with. Oh man, jeez. <laughs> All right, Elegant, I'm sorry, man. Oh, he's chopping him up. Does he have the double jump? No, he doesn't. And that is going to be the first talk going to Elegant. All right. Elegant said, I don't care about your PRs, bro. What you got <laughs> for me lately? I mean, and to be fair, as of recently, Elegant has been turning up with this Luigi. Yeah. You know, that, that first PR season wasn't the best. I feel like Elegant was still pretty much like figuring out what kind of changes he had to make to his play style to like oh, yeah. adapt I mean, to the new Luigi. Yeah, it's a game of, I mean, you got to take those strides and those necessary to make those necessary adjustments, everything's not going to be instant. I get that, of course. Yeah, yeah. You got to feel out the game. It's new. We got a lot of new mechanics and other characters involved, so it's going to take some time. But I'm, it's awesome to see him coming into form as of late. Oh yeah, I, I'm so happy because you know Elegant is someone that puts in mad amount of work. He, this dude's a fiend. You see him at all these majors. He is at those overnight venues. He is fiending the money matches. He usually just has a station. He's got a line for everyone, and he's just learning all these matchups. And man, that, that's the one thing I always respect about these top players. It is. Very stressful playing this game for a living, and you know these guys do it, and they, they have fun with it. The elegant's mad fun. I remember, I remember the tournament a little while ago. I came up to him, and I was like, "Yo, elegant." He's like, "Oh, money match." I was like, yeah, yeah, "They called your pools match, man." I was just trying to let you know. He's like, oh, okay. Uh, I was like, Definitely living that fiend life, yeah, man. He's a fiend. It's like, damn, man. I just want to have a conversation. I'm saying, bro, it pays off money though, match. man. It pays off, no doubt about that. Very, very even matchup thus far, which is what I like to see. I don't want to see anybody getting blown out. I want to see these matches come down wow. to the wire between two extremely powerful players. Thank you so much for clearing our cups. Some of the unsung heroes of this event are the staff, and we appreciate you, Senorita. Thank you. Shout out to Holiday Inn. Elizabeth, in thank you, Elizabeth, thank you. And, and like just like that, Nico sealing out that last off with the forward match. And I love how Elegant is really utilizing this down beat. Yes. And just the intangibility on it and just eating it right back up with that back air. She was all right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Top eight, man. Still rolling on. <laughs> and we're down to last stocks of this opening game. Anybody's ball game. If I'm Elegant, I don't want to be off stage against this yeah, very we, aggressive we and effective Schultz. Oh man, so much damage from that Buster R, and he wanted to keep it going. Just like that, Elegant at 118%. What happened? And here's the Smash Art. Oh man, the Shield Standoff. Oh, again, using the intangibility coming out from that downbeat, saving him from this Smash Art. Big facts. This is tough though, man. I mean, at 136, it's almost like if I'm Elegant, what do I do? I just have to like tackle on so much uh, or a decent amount of percent, maybe hope for an up B, but there was an up B, all right, in the favor of Nico, but no rage for so Elegant able to survive. There's that directional air dodge to the ledge, and man, Elegant just trying to get something started, but he's getting sliced and he's getting diced this game number one, man. Nico taking that. It was kind of going back and forth. It was. But man, I got to say that last stock, especially with that Buster Art combo, Nico just took that momentum and just rode it and did not give any of it to Elegant, man. No sharing out here. Can't do it, man. I mean, you know, the thing about Nico, too, man, he is a cold blooded killer yeah. in these brackets, man. This he guy, will keep fairing you. He, he will keep fairing you. He, he does, does not care about your feelings. He doesn't show any emotion, man. I've never seen this guy. I don't even think I've seen this guy crack a smile before. Even when he wins, man. The guy's just all about his business. And I respect somebody like that. That's how I know Elegant's going to have a tough time with him. But I still believe he's capable of taking it the distance. Yeah, and I love that how. Nico is utilizing the snare. So the snare starts underneath you, but like kind of behind you. Yep. So he's using that. So if they kind of try to run in, they get hit by that. And then if they don't, it comes all the way back around and he kind of uses it like a crawl falling up air kind of um, business. You know what I mean? Any so character cool. that can always have like uh, such a positive, almost like a, a plan B. You yes, know what I mean? Yes. Like I got so many, I got so many options covered. What are you going to do about it? You know, I love them when they kind of, they kind of put the pressure in such clever ways. Now we're on Smashville, of course. How, how do you feel about hazardous and uh, non-hazard Smashville? Um, you know what? I, I I can say, honestly, I like the hazard Smashville a little better. It's just my opinion. But even hazardous, you know, I still think it provides a very fair testing grounds yeah. and good battle for everybody. So it is what it is. That's just personal preference at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think it's just hard with, like, uh, switching between rule sets. I think that's the only reason why we don't have Like, I feel like if we didn't have to do that, it yeah. would be, like, perfect. I feel that. Absolutely agree with you. But going into the jump art here, again, starting this uh, this game number two, pretty even here into the Buster art. Oh, the Cyclone, Oof. big punish for Nico here. Yep. And 
And that back throw does so oh, much. And so good at just, like, his just his management is just something to behold. And, and wow. no, no chance jump. for Elegant to come back. No jump, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. No jump for Elegant. And that is one thing about Luigi. Hit his recovery after the Cyclone nerfs. He doesn't get that like little boost up in the air. Yeah. His recovery is very very exploited. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just dropping the ham, the proverbial hammer on that stock. Oh man, get stomped, dude! And it's so that... hard to go up. Like, it's so, I feel like it's so hard to go up a consistent amount yeah. against elegant. You know what I mean? Kid just finds an opening and just does not hesitate pulling the trigger. Yeah, and just how he used to flush it down the drain with the downbeat, he ain't afraid to hit you with the boots off stage. Look, sometimes, look, it's not all about just hitting the flusher, man. Sometimes you gotta use that. What's that thing called? The plunger. All right. <laughs> Straight up. Yeah, he, yeah, he ain't talking about the grab, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How is Elegant going to... Oh, he tried to get the up smash, but the sword just barely outraging, and that's where Nico is going to get very big breaks in terms of just, like, how his character works. Ooh. Ooh, he's trying to kill him really early. The up B! Ah, oh, there's the misfire! Oh, that actually might kill him! Oh, wow, okay, just going to go for the grab here. He might have got the double jump back. Oh, oh Nico. Wow. He was playing... Oh, oh wow! Fuck. Leg sweep, judo chop. <laughs> uh... First time I can say I honestly seen that one. Yeah, that was uh, that was a clever Dude. clever defense, if you will, as far as like protecting that ledge goes. I love yeah. it. I don't know if that's exactly what Elegant wanted, but uh, we'll take it, man. Huh? You gotta take. He's those. not gonna admit that he didn't want it. Yeah. And that's yeah. how you should do it. <laughs> All right. I planned that. Every parry is on purpose. <laughs> yeah, I parried ran away. What I wanted to reposition. Oh, I parry walked all the time. <laughs> Hell, you mean? I'll parry and walk right out of this joint. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to him, man. <laughs> Talk to him, man. Elegant trying to make a statement right now. Solid lead. See how far he can push him out of that back air. Man, that Could have been tremendous, but Elegant, I mean, it just seems like the countermeasures are working perfectly. Yeah. I feel like Elegant is putting himself in positions where it's like, I'm going to make Nico think that I'm helpless right now, yeah. and you can swing on me with that disjoint, but actually, I got this NATO. Right there, though, Elegant. Dealing a good amount of damage, actually. 81% here on Nico, but of course, you have to account for that shield mount art and just the model arts in general. So good for making comebacks. No doubt about it. And that's going to be, the, the honestly, the bread and butter right now, especially with the ability to switch so seamlessly through whatever you want. Oh, there's the parry. Still want Elegant to play this pretty cautiously. There it is again. That downbeat just pulling him in, really, and just, like, making him feel safe, making him feel like he can hit Elegant, and Elegant just utilized that. Wow, he is spamming. Yeah, he is spamming these grabs, too. <laughs> He, he, he wants to snatch him up, man. I get it. I ain't mad at him. Again, oh, wow. He's so good. Korean, you highlighted it. He delivers every single time. Tries to go for that leg sweep again. Not going to be the case. Oh, this is big. You do not want to give up this game if you're no. elegant. Wait, does he have jump? Does he have jump? That is the question. Yes, he, yes, does. he does. Okay. But, but it doesn't matter. The X slash keeping him off, man. Didn't oh. give up the air. Dodge. He got oh. What a what? Kind of attack? But we're back on stage. We, oh. Oh my god, bro! <laughs> Thank goodness he got sent back on stage. Seriously. Because, uh, wow, that edge guard was going on for a hot minute, but the tornado! Finally! Run up and do it! <laughs> Nico's kind of <laughs> just like, you really did that? Run it back, dog. <laughs> Run that joint back and miss. <laughs> oh my, that was the, some of the best back and forth interactions I've seen in this game. That was just so nutty. That, that tech from Nico, the unrelenting pressure, from Elegant, I mean, what else do you want out of a set, man? The Mango delivering on all cylinders right now. Yeah, and if you guys are watching, you're like, man, I don't know, Luigi's, uh, Luigi's recovery don't look that bad. Trust me, it's garbage. Elegant's <laughs> just really making it work. He's very, he's playing it really smart. It's far, it's far, it's far removed from its Smash 4 counterpart. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's definitely doesn't have too much mix up, but man, El I really like how Elegant's utilizing that directional air dodge, really making this recovery work. Yes. Against right. someone like Shulk, too. Someone that's so good at edge guarding. Seriously. And honestly, one thing I, I kind of noticed, too, when it was panning to the camera, I seldom see this, but Nico looked legit agitated. Like, oh, he was pissed. Yeah, he was, like, not happy with how that one went down at all. So. He, Nico does not like it when he gets ungood off. I got you. <laughs> I got No, that's fair. That's fair. We'll see what ramification it has for this match. Oh, okay. Elegant. Trying to make sure he seals the deal. He just, wow. just that. Only 16% taken. Excuse me, Elegant? <laughs> I, 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 dang. Oh, wow. wow. Zare into the grab. There's a the shield art, though. Oh. I like how Zare's right in the grab. That's so good. Yeah, that it's really, really good. Remind me of uh, some DSS stuff. Oh, man. yeah, man. The classic <laughs> right there. Man, what a what a lead. And honestly, like, oh, wait. Oh, we got text. Tech. Okay, yeah, we got text, too. At this high level of play, though, you expect that right? every time. Exactly. Oh, there it is again. The I really feel like Nico 
has to be a little bit more baity with some of it. Sometimes you're gonna have to like get a little bit more pump baity with it. You know right. what I mean? Facts, facts. Kind of a weird word I just said. No, 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 that makes sense, man. The world of sports, I understood. Uh, it's a mango stream. They gotta understand football, okay? Being I like football, but you're a mango stream, you're a damn Eagles fan. You ain't got a choice. You got it. Yeah. I got banned for saying go Dak. <laughs> it's true, man. Wow, don't People are crazy. I'm out of control. <laughs> On it. Man, can Nico get this stock though? Elegant. Okay, going up and over the tornado. Definitely, I, I feel like now Nico's fading back a little bit more with these aerials, not yes. being so aggressive. Because as long as he doesn't put his hurt box into the tornado, he can slash right through it. That's true. Very true. Ooh, okay. Well, here's the buster. Yeah, all right. There are wind boxes on that down B2, so you can see some funky stuff. It's really weird. So, there's wind like pulling you in. So. I've seen some weird interactions for sure. <laughs> Oh, the hunt oh, down. Bro, can we talk about how Elegant just perfectly positioned that up smash? Like, he literally had to position himself on the other side of the stage. Like, Nico was on the left side. It was like how you, you know how you can set your pin on lift? He set his pin on the up smash, bro. Perfect <laughs> right pickup. Right here. <laughs> too good, man. I rate that five stars, too. Go on with right, the bad stuff. I ain't mad at him. Get, get this man a tip. I ain't mad at him. <laughs> Trying to do the damn thing right now against Nico. This is frustrated, but still very much so in this. It is Smash Art. He's gonna have one more edge guard or uh, ledge trap here. Is Elegant just gonna stall it out? Yes. Just takes it down to pretty worth it, honestly. Now we don't have to worry about that Smash Art. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. there's a parry too. Ooh, Great try to parry, get the, yeah. Try to get the parry to grab, but just a little slow. Or the, the grab just a little too slow. No double jump. All right, a lot of pressure being applied. That parry does hit below the ledge. Yeah, it does. Yep. So you so, can you can you can you can snipe the recovery that way. Yeah. Absolutely. So air dodge, there's a double jump. Gonna wait for the ledge trap here. There's the Zeta. When, when in need, down B. Every single time, man. It is so clutch. It's been that perfect go to option. Even at 135, Elegant still finding ways to get some damage up there. You see the dash attack nicely done. And again, setting up that plunger, just you know, covering that drop zone area right below the ledge. Dash attack almost taking it off the top. Elliot surviving 150% on this man. This is nuts. Oh, there's this a double fireball. Absolutely. We chilling. The absurdity right now, Korean. Oh, the man. absurdity. He went right into the clutches of Smash Art. Like he just didn't care because he had the cyclone. <laughs> and like he just he just makes things. There's nothing to worry about at that point, yeah. though. Yeah. He's just like, oh, whoopsie! Did I make a mistake? Did I jump right into you? Actually. Okay, wait. Oh, no down here. I don't blame Nico trying to put some pressure. He's got to clean up this stock ASAP. And there it is, finally. Or tilt. Get the job done. Too little minutes. too late though, man. Is that yeah. the push? Yeah, that, that it, you, your one clutch play from Elegant, just from sealing out this game, and just like that, the parry, and he served him up with the forward smash. I'm gonna have to escort you to the right side of the blaster zone, Sir Nico, and Elegant up 2-1. Nico. Nico looks pissed. Yeah, I don't blame him for being pissed either, but I, I, I credit Elegant a lot for that play too. He, I mean, he obviously anticipated, all right, Nico's gonna go, he's gonna try and do his nair pressure, his strings, and yada, yada, yada. Parry, forward smash equals death. Perfectly executed. Elgin had that scouted out since he lost the stock. Yeah. He knew what he was coming back to do. And that's one thing, I mean, characters like Ike or Rob that have a lot of startup on their aerials, and it like goes all the way around, then it comes down on you. You have a lot of time to time that parry. You know what I mean? Like, you, you can just position yourself, get the parry, and get the punish. We see Elegant getting more and more familiar with this neutral air, being able to parry like that. And honestly, man, I feel like even when I'm playing, if yeah. someone beats me and they like parry into like buffer smash that, like, all right, man, you got it. Like, you, <laughs> you like. You kind of just like tip your hat to him. Like, right, right. It's it like, is what it is. Yeah, you, you just like read the shit out of him. Yeah, exactly. Shit, right? <laughs> and it happens. It happens like that, too. That's why I think uh, parrying to me is like just the best new mechanic introduced to smash in a long time. Best yeah. new mechanic since tripping. See ya. <laughs> but that buffer mechanic, that, <laughs> that buffer system, though, can we talk about it? Uh, <laughs> Not too much, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about this fourth game, though, man. Definitely a good one brewing here. All right, so it looks like Kalos is the pick. I like it. I feel like Kalos is like almost like a budget FD, if you will. Um, of course, you got the two platforms on the side, but you have this huge middle area, yeah. which like a lot of other stages on most stage lists don't have like this really big middle area. You know, there's a lot of stages with like platforms dead in the center or a stadium where like. The two platforms are in the center, so like, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have a lot of open space, but man. It's honestly the, the uniqueness of this stage that makes me favor it so much. You know, yes, yes. throughout our competitive rule sets, like, I can't recall a stage that really mirrors what we get off of this. And that's why I think it's so awesome 
Yeah. Uh, good introduction and obviously a good kick for Nico as he got that first stock off pretty convincingly at that. And the music is uh, oh, it's a test. Risk. It's a it. test, man. It's got that big fight feel. Yeah. I don't want to sit there and just pull up. Oh, I'm going to pull out. Baby. My Pokemon, that is. <laughs> and get to work because we got a battle going now, Korean. Straight up. Man, a, a battle, but right now, Nico sitting with three stock. Going to that top platform. We're going to get his jump back. Right to the left, but hitting him up with the kicks. Elegant going to even this right back Only 16 up. 16% at that. This boy is not playing around. He wants to wrap things up in this game. Nico eager to get to a game five. And, but with the bus start, just like that, man, Elegant was such at such a low percent. Now look at him. Already at 96%. So much damage. And, of course, the trusty Cyclone will always bail Elegant out of these sticky situations. Got about it. And now, it's crazy to see Elegant, like, spacing out his little fair versus, like, Nico's sword. <laughs> hey, look, I mean, you got to use the tools you're given, man. Nico, I mean, his spacing is just immaculate. Yes. Uh, can't play all around for him is just something to behold. But Elegant has found ways to play around it. And using even his little, little minuscule little hitboxes in certain areas, you got to make do with what you got. Yeah, exactly. And that, I mean, that's the greatest thing about Smash, you know. That's why, like, Dittles are pretty hype, but for the most part, I love watching two different characters because you really get to see the My two man. characters use their tools, immerse them versus each other. Here's the dash attack. Dang, we got the snacks on deck, too. Shout out to the homie, man. <laughs> Screaming and making dreams come true. <laughs> Ooh. There's the up That is your soul. There it is. And right there, again, there's the clutch. Edge guarding coming out from Nico. You go high. You get... There. You go low, you there get up and where do you go versus this man? So many questions that require so many answers. Does Elegant have one more left to seal us up? Or will we get that game five? I know a lot of people probably just salivate for us. Not too often you see Shulk making deep runs in stack top baits like this, but I'm certainly glad to see it, man. Oh, yeah. Nico not a disappointment by any means. Yeah, Nico's performance today has just been so, so great. I mean, just even like before top eight, just leading up into this, he had so many hills he had to get over, and he just did such a great job. Yeah. Now, his next opponent, he's got he's to gotta at least bring this to a game five, man. He's down. He's down. And the way he's playing right now, it'd be hard to bet against him. He has been sensational. Spacing has been there. Ellen has been finding ways to get through, but he hasn't been able to close out this stock yet. Oh, is that enough? Oh, oh my man, God. He didn't even go into the ball. I, I know. That's the crazy thing about it. I, I started to think, like, I mean, could it? Right, right. I yeah. wanted to believe. Yeah, yeah I wanted to believe. It's funny, too, because there's a freeze frame. Too. Exactly. That makes you think, like, oh, that's going to be it. But no. OK, there's the, oh, he got the reverse up there. If he was a little lower percent, he probably would have been able to combo into the back here. Is the just do it cycling going to do it? You saw Nico trying to desperately go into the shield art there. Didn't quite make it in time. And elegant. We got the stocks even, which you know what that means. It's, it's winnable. It's still anybody's game. Exactly. Nico and has been sensational throughout. With how explosive Elegant's been this entire top eight, exactly. I would not drive it past him to close out this set 3-1 versus Nico, but you know Nico don't want that to happen. No doubt about it, man. Okay. One thing about Nico too, man, I can just play. He just plays with, he's playing with a lot of emotion on his face. I feel like I seldom see that, but he wants this win over Elegant so bad. Again, you know, number two on the SoCal PRs. There's a lot of you pressure that comes it. with that, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to wrap it. got to let people know why you're there for a reason. When the only one that's above you on the PR is boy, that's something to say. Yeah, exactly, bro. And who knows, man? Nico could go on to have the kind of season that gets him that number one ranking. You never know. Yeah, especially, like, Nico's no just such a talented kid. player. No ceilings like, for this kid. Yeah, exactly. And his, his character's so good as well. So I, I'm really excited to see a lot of these character loyalists stick it through, thick and thin in Smash 4, and they're getting rewarded. Like, they their are. character has actual to tools to do some things. <laughs> Because it's not for it definitely wasn't like yeah, that. Yeah, well, yeah, well, we have some questions, all right? We have some questions. But that certainly applies to both uh, Elegant and Nico, character loyalist, man. And I'll tell you what, this is getting man. a lot closer than I'm sure Nico is comfortable with. Yeah, Elegant has been slowly clawing his way back in this stock. Hasn't done a bursty amount of damage, but chipping in that damage here and there, and already 74% here yeah. on Nico. It adds up quickly, too, especially when you look at the clock. There's still plenty of time. Yeah. Elegant doesn't need to be in a rush. Oh, wow, that's a good anti-air. Oh, he had the air dodge scouted out. Oh, but he slashes him with the forward tilt. Nico is bringing this to a game number five. And Elegant kind of reeling back in his chair, yeah. saying, oh, man, here we go again. <laughs> Nico would not be denied on that one since they, oh, hey, we're on the camera. Hey, hey, what <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even see us right over Nico's shoulder. That's awesome. Excellent camera work. 
course. Going to be on the Summit slash TPG slash Mango folks here. Hell yeah. What up, guys? <laughs> and I, I wonder what uh, what <laughs> stage this game number five is going to be on. Looks like Battlefield is the pick. Of course, with the Battlefield comes the classic tri-platform layout. And, of course, Battlefield in this game with uh, one of the higher ceilings um, out of the legal stage list. So we'll see how we, uh, both players utilize that. Now, the thing about I always feel like game fives when they start, it's like both players are kind of like, all right, chill. Like, let's, let's, let's ease our way into this, all right? No, nah, they want to battle. You know what's funny though? You, you highlight the fact Battlefield obviously with the higher higher ceiling. I feel like I've seen more anti-air up tilt kills with Shulk on this stage than any other stage period. Yeah. Like, that's how strong they were. Fun, I, I actually don't know if it's like that in this game, but I know in Smash 4, Shulk could hit you on the top platform with up tilt. On, on the, the ground. Top one. Oh wow. It was like that. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure about that actually. Be I, I don't know if they cut the range or not, okay. but that was definitely, uh, used to be a thing on, in Smash 4. All right, well, let's find out. It's a ting right now. I mean, it was his counterfeit, so. Or yeah. no, it was Elegant's counterfeit, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Oh, losing that last the game, slash. but. He's been sensational. They both have thus far. One big thing I noticed with uh, Con Con and Elegant, they usually, usually utilize the double jump with that side beat, with the green missile. Because Luigi has such horrible air mobility, you usually like, come to, like combo your double jump with the side beat to get that max like distance recovery. Wise. Okay. Rock with it. So even right now, literally only 0.3% separating the two. Ooh, okay. I'm wondering who's gonna who's gonna whiff or pull the trigger out of out of shit option first and lose the stock for it. Yeah, I mean, and, and especially in a game five situation, you want the stock first. Wow, that up smash was coming out for elegant. He but wanted it. Nico was able. Oh, we tried to scoop him up too, barely missing there. There's that forward tilt. Oh wow, the bait. Okay. Jump R, he wants to go deep off stage. No, just gets back on stage, switches right back to the smash art. There's That's the cyclone, but the shield art switch. So, it's so quick. Uh, every time I, I know it's common knowledge, but every time he switches mid-hit, it's just insanity. You gotta ask somebody. Somebody allowed this. Is this right? Is it right? Well, I'll tell you what, that wasn't the right decision as Elegant strikes with the up smash. Yeah, that was a very uh, far stretch for Nico, honestly. Uh, the uh the cross slash or just the side beat is really good to like go to ledge, but a pretty risky option. But the forward throw with the smash art combo gonna even this right back up. Oof. Okay, here's the Buster Art. All right, yep, Elegant is uh, definitely doesn't want to fight that Buster Art. Oh, or does he? Dang, he just went right in with yeah, the parry. Okay, man, no fear being shown. Elegant's, <laughs> Elegant's so funny. I feel like he'll toss like two fireballs and he'll be like, oh, this is kind of boring than you run this. <laughs> You're OD. <laughs> Yeah, that's like what it feels like. <laughs> but fair to point, be though. fair, to be fair, he's really good at running it. <laughs> Elegant's one of the best in the biz at running it. My man knows how to apply that pressure. Oh, barely survived. That almost killed that. Yeah, that was scary. Yikes. All right, safe air dodging back to the left side. And again, trying to find ways in. Not going to hesitate. Almost an eye opener for Elegant when you almost lose your stock that early. You you kind of come back and you're like, okay. I think you're a little more cautious. Yeah, exactly. You don't. You want, you're like, I can definitely. I'm definitely in kill percent here. Okay, here's the jump art. There's a. Oh, oh no! no! You did not want to go on stage because Elegant was ready with the up B and man, your stock got deleted. Perfect punish, execution from Elegant, man. I mean, even when he gets behind. He knows an opportunity will present himself, and he doesn't let it go to waste. So now one stock away from continuing his run in this bracket. Nico looking with something to say about that. Man, and I, that, that is the second side B that Nico has been killed for in this game. I, 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 I even wonder if they're just missed inputs or what, but dang, that, that's just wild. Now Elegant, now with a crazy lead. Oh my god, that, wow. That hit him. That's the timing. Wow. That's the timing. Got that two frame. You already know, man. And you know what? We've seen Nico fish for that a couple of times, too. Right. When he needed it most, though, man, able to execute perfectly. And he still has a very good chance in this game. Only about 20% separating these guys. Uh, making about 40 now off that tornado, which has been all reliable for Elegant throughout this entire set, Korean. Get me out of here. <laughs> like, straight up, man. I, I do not like the situation I'm at. Let me just hit this down and the red button, and I'm out. This is not the blind date I signed up for. <laughs> I get it, Wait, no man. jump. Oh, he didn't pull the trigger on the second hit. Elegant was ready for that. But man, is Nico ready for this down beat? Oh, oh there's the up smash. Oh, man, it's, wow. That's it, it's off the top. Elegant takes it. Wow, sneaking the up smash in. And I don't even feel like Nico ledge rolled that much. Yeah, exactly, bro. It's just like that one time.